This is the world's hardest game, supposedly. I used to love this game when I was like nine, but now that I'm a little bit older, this is the perfect opportunity to make use of AI to fulfill my childhood dreams of beating the world's hardest game. Before I get into it, I just want to say thank you guys all so much for the support. I cannot believe I've just passed 10,000 subscribers already. It's ridiculous. So again, thank you all so much. I love you all. And all right, let's go. So compared to previous games I've made, this one is actually quite simple to make. You have the player, the blue dot enemies, and then the level design itself. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find high quality assets for this game. So before we can do anything, art speed run, baby. Bam! Here are the game assets all in one place. Yeah, you can tell this game had world-class AAA artists. Okay, level one. In the world's hardest game, in every level, everything is nicely placed in a grid of squares. Each blue dot, yellow dot, and the different colored tiles are all in their own separate little square. And thankfully, Unity has this neat little feature called tile maps, where I can create a tile for every single asset and then simply place them to create my levels. So, boom. Level one created in like two minutes. <laughs> Beautiful. Now let's add in the player with some basic movement and there we go. Of course, we're missing collisions, but uh, that should be quick and easy to add. Hmm. This looks a little off for collision detection. I mean, last time I checked, this is not how it's supposed to work. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely better. And just one last thing before we add the AI, and that's of course the moving blue dot enemies. With this, you just add a constant movement for it in a direction, and when it hits a wall, just reverse the direction. <clears throat> yeah, okay, let's add the AI now. For this, I'm gonna be using a simple genetic algorithm. The way it works is I create a large population of players and thrust them straight into the level with absolutely no clue of where they are, what they are, or who they are. They all make random movements and the ones who move closer to the goal are given permission to reproduce for the next generation and the others are wiped from existence. It's really effective, but I wouldn't recommend trying it in real life. It, um, it might not be too ethical, it's like having a kid and then judging their ability to walk on day one, and if they don't... Yeah, I think you get the point. So without further ado, let's see how they do for the first level. To make the learning more effective, I've limited the amount of steps the AI can take. This way they maximize the value of their initial steps before they gain access to additional steps. And so I made it so that every five generations they get five extra steps until eventually they have enough to reach the goal. Hundred and two generations, baby. And 
there's 29 more levels to go. Nice. <laughs> Before I go on to level two, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Brilliant. If you're watching these videos and you want to learn more about AI, computer science, coding, or the maths related behind the things I do in these videos, then Brilliant is a great resource to use to learn these topics. The good thing about Brilliant is that you don't have to just sit and watch videos on these subjects. No, no. You get full interactivity while learning so you can solidify and make use of the information you learn in a practical example. For example, in this video, and well, pretty much every single one of my videos, I'm making use of vectors to move the players and any other object. This is absolutely crucial to understand in game development because without an understanding of vectors, you can't make a game. And how convenient! Brilliant has a course on vectors. So to try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, check out brilliant.org forward slash Tyler Momsen or scan the QR code on screen or just click on the link in the description and you'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. All right, let's move on to level two. <laughs> Okay, this one's a little different. There's a little yellow dot in the middle that has to be collected before the player can move on to the green zone and win. I have absolutely no idea how the AI will move through here, but uh, yeah, let's see. One hundred and twenty-four generations. There we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. But obviously, you know, beating the first two levels isn't beating the entire game. There are a lot more difficult levels later on. Uh, so if you guys would like to see the AI beat more levels, then please do let me know. And again, thank you for all the support. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.